The youth of Nalirugu were said to have severely been outnumbered and beaten during the fight which broke out at Gambaga. The police had to intervene as many suffered injuries. Abubakar Hadi is one of the Nalirugu youth injured in an attack. He is currently nursing a wounded arm after he was attacked with a knife. He almost stabbed me in the head in that attack. I had a feeling that something was about to happen, but before I could raise my head, he tried stabbing me with a knife, which I blocked with this arm. In revenge, some youth of Nalirugu went on rampage in the regional capital, attacking yellow yellow drivers and some residents from Gambaga. Bashiru Abubakar, a yellow yellow driver from Gambaga, is among those attacked. According to him, he was returning from Nagbo when a group of youth ambushed him in Nalirugu. They attacked me and deflated my motor tire, snatched my bag containing money and went away together with my key. The incident is said to have heightened fears of potential violence especially as relationship between the two rival towns remain complicated by a disagreement over the siting of the northeast regional capital following the creation of the new regions. The timely intervention by the overlord, however, has led to a ceasefire after he summoned leaders of the two feuding groups to his palace. You see that we just, uh, we can say we just close youth meeting when you arrive. Saka Abdul Razak is the chairman of the Nalirgu Youth Association. We agree upon to make sure that there should be peace. So we are inviting Gambaga people. As we speak, we are one Gambaga Nale. We are intermarried and we are doing everything together. So we are sending signal to everybody, especially the people of Gambaga, the Nalirgu, the doors are open as we are equally coming to their community. So they will be working as we are, so that there will not be any misunderstanding again so there is no cause for alarm another executive of the youth association moses tampuri demanded jobs and opportunities for residents in the regional capital point is that we want our development process to move what is due for the capital town nalirugu should come to nalirugu and that is what is really agitating people and so we we are standing on that yes, yes there are a lot of rumors going around that others are able to swerve some projects to their side, you know, and that is bringing about the anxiety and all that. The youth chairman was grateful to the overlord for his intervention and urged the youth to continue to be law abiding. Uh, you know, Nalergo, uh, youth, as you know, are peace loving people, they are all industrials. So we keep on uh, advising them to keep what they are doing up. Most of them are business people others are civil servants. So we are appealing to them to still remain calm as they are and concentrate on their farming activities and other uh, businesses they are doing. So at the end of the day, uh, what we want will, will be achieved. Ilyasu Tanko, report.